Hi and welcome to my channel. Today we take a look at the 5D. But before we get into that, let's take a look at what it actually replaced. The analog film camera. This is a film camera, the Yashica FX3 Super 2000. And when the top Japanese manufacturers stopped making this camera, they wanted you to move to this camera. Welcome to the 5D Mark I, also known as the 5D Classic. I have been using this camera for the last 15 years. Reason number one, it is a full frame camera. The noise from this camera represents film grain and has a magical feel to it. You can adapt your vintage lenses very easily without having to change any lens characteristics. Most vintage lenses has an extruded back element. Still, you can use a small converter ring to fit this camera just fine. This was made possible by having the mirror inside the camera further inside so that it doesn't obstruct the back element of the lens. As with all Canon lenses, the mode dial is on the left and it has a very good aperture priority system. It also has one custom setting. I used to have a rubber piece here over the last 5 years. It has become brittle and fell off. I usually tape it if it's a bad weather. It has two control rings, one to control the aperture and one to control the shutter speed. The menu on this camera is the easiest I've ever used. It's all inside just one single page. It has a dedicated delete button, which I really like. I wish my Fuji's had the same level of menus that was easy to use. Cameras has a bright and large viewfinders compared to any crop or mirrorless camera. Your eye won't strain at all. This is a 128 megapixel camera and it has no live view, but the lack of such features forces you to use your eye and take better photos. Now the display on this is very small compared to newer generation cameras and it may not look that good, but I promise you that they will blow your mind once you transfer them to your phone using a OTG cable or a card reader. It has a dedicated display on the top and everything from ISO to metering to drive modes can be controlled with just one hand. This camera has one of the best battery life I have ever seen. You can take up to a thousand shots with just one battery. There are situations where I have been traveling for days in places with no electricity and with just two batteries. Being a Canon camera, you can use all your current generation and older generation EF lenses with this camera. The focusing is relatively fast and if you are using fast prime lenses, then focusing isn't something you really need to worry about. The top LCD lights up and the hand grip is uh, very nice. It has a good texture and it fits really good even in with big hands like mine. Here is a size comparison with the Fuji x 100 v as you can see, the 5D Mark II is much heavier and bulkier in every way, but um, it is a full frame camera and it takes wonderful pictures. But the Fuji x 100 p is just so new in its generation and technology. The 5D Classic is not something you use to compete with other camera brands. You use this camera to have a unique perspective on photography. 5D Classic display is a small compared to modern generation cameras and has a slight green tint to it. It's good enough to check exposure and framing. The true beauty of this camera is that when you take the raw images into your computer and you open them up in let's say Photoshop or like Lightroom, it, you are pretty much surprised that how much detail this camera can still hold. Remember this was designed to replace this. Canon engineers has designed the sensor in such a way that even today it resembles a lot of that film look without needing any profiles. More megapixels means more details is a myth. It all depends on the quality of the lens and the sensor technology. This full frame sensor even after 15 years manages to make many current generation cameras a run for its money. Now let's analyze some images and see how much detail can it hold still today.
This camera takes in more light by simply using the laws of physics by having a bigger sensor size and having really fat pixels. There is no alternative to it. Fatter pixels has more luminance data than a smaller and denser pixels. So the transition of light is much smoother and better. That's why this camera, pictures from this camera actually looks really nice. It's because this is probably the only camera you'll get that is full frame and has the lowest number of pixel count. So if you're thinking of getting this camera, it is a collector's item and it is going as low as $300 on eBay right now. So for $300, you can actually own a piece of history. And that's why I think you should have it. And it actually takes really great pictures. If you're already on a Canon system, it will cost you no more than that. Thanks for being here. I really appreciate it. And this is a small channel and it will really help me out if you can subscribe. And hope to bring you more personalized camera reviews. Thank you.